So good evening, everyone. Am I audible? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. And this batch is specifically NCRT batch. Right. Okay. So this session will be uh, orientation plus we will try to complete a chapter today. Okay. So, but orientation is very much important to start any new subject. Right. See, as I have mentioned that this batch is NCRT batch, right? And you know, NCRTs are considered as the foundation of UPSC, right? The basic conceptual clarity should be there and we can cover all these aspects through these NCRTs. So this is the basic, like basic concepts will be there, but there is a very important thing about NCRT. As you go frequently uh, in this revision, uh, I will say, uh, if you will revise the NCRT topics two times, three times, then at every time you will find that there is a new concept, right? That means we can say that most important concepts and very important concepts are written in very easy language in these NCRT books. So we need to be very careful by this, by the reading of these books, right? So uh, we will discuss what is the difference between NCRT batch and the advanced batch, right? So this is the beginning of your preparation. Right, that's why you are enrolling in NCRT batch. That means we will consider that we are going to learn from zero to 100. We will consider that we are, we all are on the zero. And that's better to think about the zero, right? So we will start from the basic one, from the zero, and then we will reach up to 100. And once you covered the NCRT thoroughly in details, then only you will be able to understand the level, the exact level, the advanced level of UPSC, right? But an interesting thing is there, if you will go through with the previous year question papers, PT and mains, both, right? So you will find direct and indirect. All the questions of PT and mains are directly or indirectly asked from these NCRT books. Right? From these NCRT books, specifically from 6th to 12th class. Right. Okay. So the major question when it comes to the NCRT badge, a question uh, uh, comes in our mind that uh, for every subject, which type of book and which NCRT should be preferred, right? So if we discuss about geography specifically, so we need to cover class 6 to class 12, right? And again, a question. Should we prefer old ones or new NCRT books, right? So for geography, we need to prepare through new NCRT books, 6 to 12. And there is a reason. And the reason is, see, in the geography, this subject is, we can say it, uh, there are various changes occurs. And the best example is, is the climate change, the global warming, right? 
so it needs various updation so we need to follow the new ncrt books because the concepts are different and we needs to be updated clear so new ncrt books should be preferred right so 6 to 12th and new ncrts right and you should keep this in your mind that questions will come through these books only so it doesn't mean ki in reference books nahi padhna reference books will be important as well but this is the base right so clear chalo okay now we will discuss about the subject first and what is the importance of geography in the upsc syllabus right have you gone through the syllabus of upsc pt and mains huh? yes okay so what about the main syllabus related with geography priyanka batao okay ab batao huh huh syllabus is vast great very diplomatic answer syllabus is very vast Okay. Yeah, syllabus is very vast actually, but geography will be asked in GS paper one, right? And for GS paper one in mains examination, we need to prepare Indian geography as well as world geography, both. indian and world geography right both should be covered clear okay now let us discuss about that word geography actually this word geography is derived from geographia which is a greek word and it means the description of earth that means the description of earth so geography means description of earth that is clear but the main question is which include in the earth huh? which areas which field should be included the study of earth as the geography means description of earth and we can say geography means the scientific study and scientific description of the earth right so the question is what do you understand by the earth and which area should be included in the study of earth okay okay good see this is earth right so should we consider the surface that region the outer layer of this earth as the study of earth right no yes or no yes the surface the outer area the outer layer of this planet should be considered as the part of earth or not yes that means it includes the study of the outer surface the outer layer of the earth planet right now tell me what about the interior 
should we consider the study of the interior of the planet earth as the part of earth yes so we have covered the interior and the outer layer right and what about this the atmosphere should we consider this yes so atmosphere that means in this subject in this subject geography we need to cover all these three right how when we discuss about the surface that means all type of landforms which you can see your surrounding these will be included in the in this study which type of landforms you can see huh hills yes hills plateau plains valleys desert river ha huh? and kitna kaafi hai sure what about vegetation that will also be included vegetation right so these topics these are examples right which we are going to cover in the study of earth right that means this outer layer is made of which type of minerals right these things are also important the minerals right and what is the difference between the continental layer and the oceanic layer right continental continental shelf and oceanic shelf then in this part interior we are going to discuss the interior layers of the earth from the outer layer to the core right and the most important thing in this topic will be the natural resources the minerals which we have in specifically in india right the natural resources and when we will discuss these natural resources we will focus on various things like which type of processes natural processes or human processes or human activities right motivated these type of uh, the, some changes in the natural resources or minerals right good evening right so natural resources will be covered in this section right and why that topic is so much important natural resource will you please tell me anyone of you natural resources the study of natural resources in geography uh, yes exactly very good see in this time period each and every subject is connected with the other subject right we cannot make exact separation of these subjects all these subjects are inter related inter connected right so natural resources are the part of geography but they plays they play very important role, role in the economic condition right 
similarly we will focus on these two also planes and plateaus that means the outer layer of the surface right in the plane region can you describe the condition of economy the economy will be prosperous why because in the plain region, the fertility is high. Right? So, for agriculture perspective, plains are good. Right? And plateaus? Mining. Huh? Mining. Mining, yes. Sorry? Okay. Right. That means each section has its own importance, right? With the perspective of geography and economy as well. Right. And you can connect, you can relate these informations with history as well, with art and culture as well, with polity as well. Right. How will we connect these? Informations with the history? Great, good, good, and? See, art and culture we promote art and culture? When our basic needs are fulfilled, then we focus on the creative work, the art and culture. So if the economy is in good condition, right, if prosperity is there in any region, then we can say now, the people of that time, they had focused on the art and culture, the promotion of art and culture, like the literature, like sculpture, paintings, architecture, right? And as you have said, in architecture, we can define that type of rock, uh, rock material or raw material were used, right? So, all already related with the geography. So, art and culture is also related with geography. In history, how will you relate geography with history? Okay. Geography condition of earth. Exploration and invasions. Okay. Okay. Do you remember the Mahajanpadas and Magads? Huh? Mahajanpadas. Out of 16 Mahajanpadas, four were more prosperous, right? And among these four, which was the most powerful? Magad was most powerful. And can you uh, uh, define the location of Magad? Huh? UP and Bihar, specifically the Bihar region, right? And it's two capitals, Rajgiri and Patliputra. Rajgiri was surrounded by the hills. Natural protection was there for the capital. And Patliputra was surrounded by the rivers. Right? So, trade route. Waterways were available. Right? Uh, note down Karoik homework. National waterways. National waterways. Now, you will diary of a small diary. You will get a lot of Because the subject is geography. Okay. Can we relate the geography with environment and ecology? Huh? Okay. Can we relate? Can you tell me? Tell 
because geography includes atmosphere and atmosphere is core part of environment and environment affects ecology of a, of any area so geography is directly connected with environment and ecology right okay if i say the elephants habitat of elephant mainly uh, in the west bengal or assam region or in the southern areas generally elephants ke liye ye habitat mane jate hain yahan pe unki population zyada hai so uske piche geographical factor hai forest availability of forest region because elephant ke liye proper forest region required hai. right so surface the study of surface is important in geography interior the study of interior is important and then atmosphere is also important right so we will focus on all these clear okay. now the question is should we focus on the landforms or all these three fields of geography which are occurred which were created by the natural forces only or we should cover all those areas which have the human interference both right so in this subject we need to cover two parts the physical geography and the human geography both are important so all those areas which we have discussed in the last topic will be covered in the physical geography and what do you think about the human geography which type of topics will be covered in the, this section human geography then settlement population settlement yes that means population population density highest population density ka hai highest population density इंडिया में कौन कौन से स्टेट थे बिहार उत्तर प्रदेश एंड वेस्ट बंगाल राइट ओके नाउ यू विल लर्न हाउ टू कनेक्ट दीज इंफॉर्मेशन पॉपुलेशन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन जोग्राफी राइट एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी इन इंडिया बिहार उत्तर प्रदेश एंड वेस्ट बंगाल हाईली डेंस्ड एरिया राइट रीजन बताओ वट आर द रीजन वट आर द फैक्टर्स सुटेबल इन्वायरमेंट ओके ओके Rivers are there. Okay. Okay. See. Reason बताना पड़ेगा हंसने का पूरी क्लास को Rivers are there and the soil is fertile in Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. Right? Availability of natural sources resources as well. खुश होना इनसे राइट नाउ गिव मी द रीजन सी लैक ऑफ फैमिली प्लानिंग इज द इश्यू ऑफ होल इंडिया राइट सी दिस इज नॉट द पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी ऑफ दीज रीजन इज नॉट रिलेटेड विद द प्रेजेंट टाइम्स राइट इफ वी सी 
the history part. So from the beginning, from that time period, from the Magas, from the ancient and then medieval, right? These areas were pop uh, populated, very densely populated. Why? Because during that time period, the major portion of economy was coming from the agriculture sector. And that's why the people were shifting from town to rural areas for agriculture. Right? So, in time pe agriculture ki se wahan pe zada se zada population shift hui. Ab population ek jage pe shift ho chuki. Ab problem kya hai wahan pe? See, rivers are there, fertile soil is there, natural resources are also there. Then why these states are facing the literacy problem, the malnourishment, backwardness in many areas. Huh? Unemployment. Um, because the like density got way too much and uh, job opportunities were less and the resources were not according to the need of the people. Okay. See, that is the fact that that the population creates burden over the economic resources, right? But this is the time of globalization. Or India may be a foundation in a state to the state. Mein jane ka. So, so, what is the problem? What is the issue? See, one thing should be clear in your mind you are UPSC aspirant. And you need to know how to connect these subjects with each other, how to connect these issues. Because all these issues are interrelated, interconnected. Right. And the problem is political will. The areas of Jharkhand, which was the part of Bihar, right? Now West Bengal. Majority areas of Bihar itself. Okay. How are natural resources? Se? Rich areas. Rich areas. Right. But if you will see the educational situation, the health situation, the situation of the society there. Right. So, you think North India, Western India, Southern India is far, far better. Reason? In this era of industrialization, right, coal is very important. Or coal majority is there? Why? Why? reason? Huh? Huh? So, government ka control hai natural resources pe. Or government kya karti hai? Government provides license. Licensing policy is there, right? So, kya karte hai? License provide karte hai. And then, waha pe kya hoti? Phir bhi license ke baad bhi waha pe kya issue hai? Illegal mining ka issue hai. Ab jaha pe mining hoogi, waha pe health issues honge hi honge. Because the extraction of minerals will create some pollution. Noise pollution will be there, water pollution, air pollution. So health issues will be there. Right? Then, but what, what about the illegal mining? So this is the issue of politics. The political will should be genuine and positive in this regard. Or ek cheez batao. जब वहाँ पे natural resources हैं, तो वहाँ की population ज़्यादातर labour class में क्यों हैं? हाँ? Ma'am, because these resources... low literacy rates. So this is the big question, हाँ? Low literacy rate तो ये तो this is the failure of the government actually. Resources are education नहीं provide करा पाए. Yes. Online make of a chabatara the batay. Then resources are under the control of government. Okay. So, 
so when people are not able to get the benefit okay see in other parts of india if we talk about haryana punjab right western uttar pradesh jis bhi property ke upar aapka right hai theek hai that means i am talking about the private ownership so you can produce whatever you want from that land but agar aapke usi property mein agar aapko pata chale ki wahan pe to पेट्रोल है फिर फिर क्या होगा गवर्नमेंट विल अक्वायर दैट एरिया आपको क्या दे दिया जाएगा थोड़ा बहुत मुआवजा दे दिया जाएगा ठीक है है ना सो ये प्रॉब्लम वहां पे इसीलिए है जहां पे ज्यादा नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज है वहां पे प्रॉब्लम इसीलिए है क्योंकि वहां पे लोगों के हाथ में प्रोडक्शन का कोई ऑप्शन है ही नहीं they cannot produce for themselves very little or very small areas they have right majority areas are in the hands of the government ab unke paas agriculture ka option nahi hai ab do option hai either the job or the labor so they join as a labor class right so geography can be connected with social issues with environmental issues with ecology environment right so you need to focus on that and what up else after density the developmental policies like the development of the railways right will include in the human geography abhi thode din pehle ek report i think what happiness report happiness index ha huh? this is also a part of geography human geography right happiness index economy se bhi connected hai this is also connected with geography and society to hai hi hai right so aap log kya karte ho you just note down the rank one this year who achieved the rank one इन वर्ल्ड हैप्पीनेस इंडेक्स इंडिया की किस पोजीशन पे है उसके बाद ज्यादा ध्यान किस पे होता है पाकिस्तान ढूंढो नेबर्स में नेबरिंग कंट्रीज में वी जस्ट फोकस ऑन पाकिस्तान एंड देन दिस ईयर वी रियलाइज पाकिस्तान एंड बांग्लादेश आर फार बेटर देन इंडिया दे आर हैपियर देन अस दैट मीन्स द सोशल प्रॉब्लम राइट सो एज ए यूपीएससी एस्पिरेंट ये नहीं करना कि सिर्फ रैंकिंग याद करनी है नहीं यू नीड टू एनालाइज द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस यू नीड टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस रीजन वट आर द क्राइटेरिया देर आर वेरियस कैटेगरीज देर आर वेरियस क्राइटेरिया टू डिसाइड विच कंट्री इज मोस्ट हैपीएस्ट राइट so we need to focus on these criterias and why i am saying this because you are going to be an ias officer and you need to do work for <clears throat> the welfare of people right koi bhi social policy aap kaise banaoge ye thodi hai baithe hain aaram se chalo is baar ये वाली पॉलिसी बनाई इस बार ये वाली पॉलिसी बनाई नहीं दीज रिपोर्ट्स राइट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू फोकस अपॉन द सोशल इश्यूज इन अवर एरियाज एंड एज एन आई एस एस्पेरेंट यू नीड टू बी अवेयर अबाउट द जोग्राफिकल कंडीशन ऑफ इंडिया द होल इंडिया नॉट जस्ट अबाउट योर स्टेट यू नीड टू बी अवेयर अबाउट जोग्राफिकल कंडीशन of whole india right by this geographical condition you will be aware about the economic condition of these areas right the economic condition of different different regions right 
for example which area is having agricultural capacity right and which area needs some industrial policies right and then the economic condition directly affects the society economic condition directly affect the society for example if there are two persons rural area and urban area that person live in rural area and that person lives in urban area kya differences honge batao hmm living standard and huh education then huh economy ye agri based economy mein reh rahe hain and they are living in trade based economy and in the service sector right towns and cities the basic difference between these two the village and city the basic difference between these two is the difference of the culture rural areas mein agri agri based economy hai so it doesn't need it, it doesn't require any uh, skill or specific capacity or criteria to join the agriculture sector but here in the urban areas education is important right if we want to start any business or industry then we need to have any specific skill right and the cultural difference is village person a village person decides each and everything related his life by watching and thinking about the others right and the cultural difference in city areas is the city areas are the center of different different culture different different traditions for example in delhi or in just we just take the example of this classroom right koi yahan pe haryana se hai koi rajasthan se koi bihar uttar pradesh right different different so you all of all of you have come from different state different regions with different language with different culture with different tradition with different social norms right aur kisi ek jagah pe aa gaye wo ek center ban gaya center of exchange of culture and these ideas Ex right the so cities are the center of exchange of social norms tradition and culture right so so city life mein kya hota hai ek dusre se seekhte hain theek hai and then we realize oh aapke yahan aisa culture hai hamare yahan to ye freedom nahi hai theek hai fir kya hota hai fir phone pe jab ghar pe baat hoti hai to bolte hain are एक फ्रेंड है हमारे उनके यहाँ तो ये सारी प्रॉब्लम होती ही नहीं दे आर ऑल्सो इंडियन सो हमें भी क्या करना चाहिए हमें भी थोड़ा सा लिबरल रहना चाहिए राइट सो सिटी कल्चर आर लिबरल एंड विलेज एरियाज इन रूरल एरियाज आर वेरी रिस्ट्रिक्टेड इन दिस मैनर सो जोग्राफी डायरेक्टली अफेक्ट द इकोनॉमी इकोनॉमी डायरेक्टली अफेक्ट द सोसाइटी they feel excluded okay why why do why did this they may not be able to get used to the environment of city or may not be able to incorporate the environment of city okay kitne time tak feel karenge wo there are 
there are any cases of suicide in this? Uh, in this See, suicidal cases are different, right? Because each suicidal case has its own reason, okay. right? But I will say the migration from rural areas to city areas, it creates various problems for the society of the city, various crimes, right? And when we say Delhi is the capital, and Delhi is considered as the rape capital of India, that means up check karo, up records dekhoge, to jitne bhi rape cases hain, they are done by the outsiders. Majority cases. In majority cases. I am not saying ki jo delights hain, they are genuine. Nahi. Look, dimaag kharaab kisi ka bhi ho sakta hai. Thik hai? So, but up Delhi me ek chiz aur dekho. You, uh, have you uh, noticed the beggars on the street of Delhi? Have you visited the place uh, nearby the Ames and Sabdarja? No? Kabhi jana. Kabhi mauka mele? Because you are going to be an IS officer. So, aapko practically bohat sari cheeze seekhne ke liye visit karna bhi zaroor hai. Right? So, kabhi chance mele, to kabhi jana. Just visit these places. Sif straight se dekhna, bahar se dekhna, road se dekhna. Chik hai. Aur man kare to thoda andar bhi chale jana hai. ठीक है एम्स में सफदरजंग में ठीक है फिर वहां पे देखना कि कितने ऐसे लोग हैं जो बाहर से ट्रीटमेंट के लिए आए हुए हैं राइट और उनको जो अपॉइंटमेंट मिली है वो कब की मिली है आफ्टर 3 मंथ्स आफ्टर 6 मंथ्स राइट अब ऑपरेशन कराना है 3 महीने बाद दोबारा आना पड़ेगा जैसे तैसे पैसे इकट्ठा करके आए थे बिहार से वेस्ट बंगाल से महाराष्ट्र से ठीक है अब क्या करेंगे वापस जाने से बेटर है कुछ दिन यहीं रहते पेशेंट भी कहां पड़ा रहता है उसी बाउंड्री के अंदर या बाहर पड़ा रहता है और उसके साथ जो आते हैं जो अटेंडेंट्स आते हैं वो क्या करते हैं वो बाहर ही भीख मांगना स्टार्ट कर देते अब एकदम से कोई ऑक्यूपेशन कैसे स्टार्ट करेंगे है ना एम्प्लॉयमेंट कैसे मिलेगा एकदम से सो क्या होता है दे केम फॉर दे 3 मंथ दे केम फॉर मेडिकल रीजन राइट फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट बट नाउ दे डिसाइडेड टू बी हियर इन दिल्ली फॉर नेक्स्ट 3 मंथ्स अब खाना तो खाना है ना तो क्या करना पड़ेगा रहना पड़ेगा अब एम्प्लॉयमेंट मिलेगा नहीं तो ये तो सोचेंगे रिक्शा रिक्शा चला लेते हैं अब रिक्शा भी नहीं मिल रहा तो क्या करें भीख ही मांग लेते हैं और भीख भी नहीं मिले तो क्या करें किसी से लूट लेंगे अब एक का ट्रीटमेंट कराने के लिए आए थे और बाहर तीन महीने पड़े पड़े दूसरा बीमार हो गया ठीक है क्या है ये आउटसाइडर की वजह से किसी एक सिटी के ऊपर किसी एक टाउन के ऊपर एक्सेसिव बर्डन क्रिएट होगा तो ये प्रॉब्लम्स होंगी ना सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स होंगी अब कैन यू रिलेट कैन यू रिलेट दैट सोशल प्रॉब्लम टू ज्योग्राफी और पॉलिटी अब ये यूपीएससी एस्पिरेंट का काम है कैन यू रिलेट दिस रिलेट करो हां डेफिनेटली अगर दिल्ली लेवल के एम्स और हॉस्पिटल्स अगर उन्हीं स्टेट में हो तो उन स्टेट के लोगों को इतना दूर आने की क्या जरूरत पड़ेगी गेटिंग दिस अगर वहां पे इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन इतनी बेटर हो तो वो 3 महीने यहां क्यों रहे वो वापस घर क्यों नहीं चले जाएं राइट कभी दिल्ली के कुछ एरियाज में झुग्गी देखी हमने कुछ एरियाज हैं और ऐसे बहुत सारे जो पहले सिर्फ और सिर्फ झुग्गियां थी कहां रहते हैं वो वो ऐसे एरिया में रहेंगे वो अब बाहर से जो आए हैं जिनके पास कोई काम नहीं है पूरी की पूरी फैमिली को ले आए अकेले नहीं आते पूरे ग्रुप में आते 15 20 पूरा बैगेज लेके है ना तो बड़ा क्लेवरली दे डिसाइड द प्लेस अब देखो कैसा एरिया ढूंढेंगे जहां पे मतलब बिल्कुल गंदगी पड़ी हो अनहाइजीनिक प्लेस वहां से भगाएगा नहीं कोई 
अब आपके घर के सामने अगर कोई रहने लग जाएगा तो क्या करोगे दो घंटे बाद क्यों बैठे हो अनहाइजीनिक प्लेसेस पे रहना स्टार्ट कर देते हैं ठीक है जो नाले वाले बह रहे होते हैं वहां पे रहना स्टार्ट कर देते हैं फिर दस दिन रहते हैं फिर सोचते हैं यहां से कोई नहीं बगा रहा फिर छोटा सा टेंट लगा लेते हैं फिर दो चारों को और बुला लेते हैं यहीं आ जाओ कंपनी मिल जाएगी मन लग जाएगा फिर और आ जाते हैं ठीक है फिर कोई न्यूज रिपोर्टर पहुंच जाता है वहां वो कवर कर लेता है उसको कितना इन ह्यूमन कंडीशन में दिल्ली के लोग रह रहे हैं फिर दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट क्या करती है नहीं नहीं तुम यहां से उठो प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना इज देयर मुख्यमंत्री आवास योजना इज देयर वी विल प्रोवाइड यू होम फिर गवर्नमेंट क्या करती है वन बी एच के प्रोवाइड करती है उनको हाँ उस वन बी एच में क्या वन बी एच के में क्या करते हैं वो उसको रेंट पे लगाते हैं फिर दूसरा नाला ढूंढते हैं सो दिस इज नॉट द इकोनॉमिक प्रॉब्लम दिस इज नॉट द दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अवर पॉलिटिक्स जहां से आए थे वहीं पे रहो ना वहीं पे कंडीशन इतनी स्ट्रांग हो ना आपकी वहां से निकलना ही नहीं पड़े राइट सो एवरी थिंग इज इंटरकनेक्टेड जोग्राफी हो पॉलिटी हो इकोनॉमी हो सोसाइटी हो ईच एंड एवरी आस्पेक्ट इज इंटरकनेक्टेड और यही काम आपको करना है कॉलेज वाला काम नहीं है ये कि जोग्राफी का पेपर है तो पूरा पेज जोग्राफी से भरना है नहीं राइट यूपीएससी के क्वेश्चन भी कैसे होते हैं इन योर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वट यू थिंक अबाउट दैट प्रॉब्लम right so this this type of approach should be there in your process of preparation clear samajh aaye itna so now we will start the geography chapter 1 of class 6 like नोट्स बनाना है थोड़ा थोड़ा साथ में समझेंगे थोड़ा सा नोट्स बनाना है ठीक है सो मेक हेडिंग क्लास सिक्स चैप्टर वन जोग्राफी द अर्थ इन द सोलर सिस्टम क्लियर बताओ क्या बात है ठीक है क्लास के बाद पूछूंगी ओके सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द अर्थ इन द सोलर सिस्टम सो वी नीड टू फोकस हियर ऑन दीज टू टर्म्स वन द अर्थ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर एंड देन द सोलर सिस्टम ओके तो इसको पढ़ते हुए चले हाँ ज्यादा हो जाएगा अच्छा सिक्स क्लास वाले स्टूडेंट वाली फीलिंग आएगी क्या नहीं आएगी थोड़ा थोड़ा बीच बीच में से इसको पढ़ते हैं ठीक है बस एक चीज ध्यान रखना यू आर नॉट द स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास सिक्स यू आर आई एस एस्पेरेंट सो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी विल यूज दैट इंफॉर्मेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर एग्जामिनेशन क्लियर राइट एंड वाई दिस पी इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज फ्रॉम लास्ट फोर फाइव ईयर्स जनरली यूपीएससी डर्स pick up the question directly from the charts directly from the boxes right so it is important to discuss that also see so this chapter is related with the solar system and the position of earth in this solar system right so in this chapter someone are discussing about the sky the night sky night sky means when there is darkness we can see the light of stars right and we cannot count all these stars because the number is huge ab wo bachpan mein karte the counting karte the that is different right but the main question is uh, main thing is see 
Along with these bright objects, you may also see the moon on most of the days. It may, however, appear at different times, different shapes, and different positions. Right? Okay. Now, these things will be, uh, we will use these things here. Moon. In different times, different shapes and different positions. Different time, different shapes and different positions, right? And it is saying that sometimes we witness the full moon, right? And the full moon night is known as the Purnima. Full moon night is Purnima. And a fortnight later, you can you cannot see it at all. It is a new moon night or Amavasya. That means Purnima is known as full moon and Amavasya is new moon, right? See, celestial bodies, celestial bodies. In the sky, which type of uh, uh, things we can see? The stars, we can see moon, sun and और बताओ प्लैनेट्स देख सकते हैं सम टाइम्स वी कैन सी राइट एंड मीटियोराइड्स नॉट एस्टेरॉइड्स वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एस्टेरॉइड्स एंड मीटियोराइड्स राइट सो ऑल दीस थिंग्स ऑल दीस बॉडीज आर नॉन एस द सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज ऑल स्टार्स Moon, Sun, right? And even other planets, asteroids, meteoroids, they are known as the celestial bodies. Among these celestial bodies, or we can say we can classify these celestial bodies into two categories. In one category, it includes those celestial bodies which have their own heat and light, which have their own heat and light. So these type of celestial bodies which have their own heat and light, they are known as stars they are known as stars and in the second category here we includes all these all the remaining bodies or specifically all these bodies which don't have their own heat and light right they use the light from the stars they use the light of the stars these type of celestial bodies are not as known as planets right so star and then planets right what about the satellites hmm bolo what are the satellites बताओ ओके कौन कौन से नेचुरल डेफिनेटली वेरी गुड नेचुरल एंड आर्टिफिशियल राइट सो वी शुड पुट दिस इन दिस कैटेगरी और इन दैट कैटेगरी और इट इज द डिफरेंट कैटेगरी इट इज डिफरेंट कैटेगरी राइट ओके सो नाउ stars when we see group of stars in a particular pattern 
right in a particular pattern a particular pattern which is formed by stars is known as constellation and the best example of that constellation is saptarishi sabko pata right the best example is the ursa major or big bear the ursa major or big bear and see the saptarishi constellation is a part of that big bear constellation clear it is a part one of the most easily recognizable constellation is saptarishi seven rishis rishis or sages unke naam kin pe rakhe hue hain seven sages ke naam pe rakhe theek hai it is a group of seven stars that forms a part that forms a part of ursa major constellation right okay now with the help of the seven uh, saptarishi taramandal or saptarishi constellation we can identify the location of that north star north star or also known as the pole star right the pole star through we can locate the pole star or the north star and what is the uh, uh best best feature of that pole star it remains in the same position right and that star is being in use from the ancient times for location for direction right because it is considered as the north direction north star or the north direction right i know ab aapke mind mein chal raha hoga itni simple simple si cheeze hain ye kaise upsc ke liye important hai kyunki upsc kai bar simple question bhi to puchta hai na don't expect ki har bar itna hi tough puchega bahut hi tough puchega if there are 10 questions we we should be happy to have more than two questions as easy ones right and easy easy questions will come through come uh, through these lines directly right so the pole star we can locate the position of the pole star with the help of the sapt rishi okay now some celestial bodies do not have their own heat and light they are known as they are called as the planets and earth is one of the best planet of our solar system okay acha ek baar ek question hai do you believe in aliens hote hain nahi hote ho sakte hain ki nahi ho sakte aliens ho sakte hain huh? because we are we are aware about our solar system राइट right. और हमारे सोलर सिस्टम में कितने प्लेनेट है हाउ मेनी प्लेनेट्स आर देयर एट प्लेनेट्स आर देयर एंड अमंग दीज एट प्लेनेट्स लिवेबल कंडीशन सर्वाइवल वाली कंडीशंस कौन से प्लेनेट में है अर्थ में एंड वी आर सर्चिंग फॉर द अदर मार्स में भी नहीं राइट हां मार्स में दे आर सर्चिंग राइट नाउ सॉरी Actually, I'm not getting what actually uh, you want to say. Please say loudly. Could you hear, ma'am? Hello. Yes. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, they sent the uh satellite Chandrayaan, no, ma'am, for Mars. for mars actually they are searching uh, the survival conditions searching for the survival conditions in mars and moon as well but we cannot certainly say that ki mars is livable right 
So we are thinking. Yeah, ma'am. About... That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. Okay. So the solar system. In our solar system, there are eight planets. There are eight planets in our solar system. So, uh, solar system. And the center of this solar system is sun. Okay. Isi pek baat yadari. About history. Right. Right now, we believe in this theory. Like in our solar system, the sun is the head of the solar system. Right. And all these planets revolves around the sun exactly. Right. But what Christianity believed in the medieval times, according to the Christianity, they believed that earth is the center of our solar system. And moon, sun, and other planets, other celestial bodies revolves around the earth. Right? And during that time period, those who tried to do research on that topic and they presented their theory, right? They were punished in Europe. They were punished. They were imprisoned and not only imprisoned. Unko zinda jala diya. So that was our religious orthodoxy. Right? And now through the help of science, we got to know what is the reality. And now the sun is the center of our solar system. Right? So we need to know and we need to remember these names in the right sequence from the distance of the sun. So which planet is the closest to the sun? The Mercury. Mercury is the closest. Then Venus. Then Earth. Earth is on the third position. Then Mars. See, Earth and Mars, they are having some similarities, right? Okay. And then, can you see that asteroid belt? Right? This is known as asteroid belt. Right? Asteroids means the particles of the celestial bodies. Ho sakta hai, koi blast hua ho. Right? And then they are revolving around the sun. Okay. The planets, right, between the sun and the this asteroid belt are known as inner planets. The planets which are in between sun and the asteroid belt are known as inner planets. And these planets are known as outer planets. The planets which are out from the asteroid belt are known as the outer planets. So these four planets are batao, sequence or batao, after sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. And after Mars there is a belt of asteroids. Right? And then Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Right. Okay. Some facts are important. Right. Here, we will cover. See, Mercury. It revolves Mercury complete one round, right, one circle in 88 days. And how many days? 88 days. And what about Earth? 365 and? And? 6 hours. Okay. And a half. Good. And Venus, it completes around in 255 days. And Earth, 
in 365 days right so there are two for, two uh, things one is in how in how many days a planet complete a circle complete around of the sun and another thing is in how many days and in how many hours it completes a circle on its own axis right so there are two things clear so ye yaad ho gaye sabko ek bar batao ab batao sequence inner planets name batao inner planets ओके इनर प्लेनेट्स बताने हैं आपको सीक्वेंस शुड बी फ्रॉम द एस्टेरॉइड बेल्ट टू द सन मार्स के बाद क्या बोले वीनस मार्स अर्थ वीनस एंड मर्करी एंड आउटर प्लेनेट्स नेपच्यून नेपच्यून सबसे पहले जुपिटर सैटर्न यूरेनस एंड नेपच्यून ओके सो अर्थ इज ऑन दर्ड पोजिशन फ्रॉम द डिस्टेंस परसपेक्टिव राइट एंड फ्रॉम द परसपेक्टिव ऑफ साइज अर्थ इज ऑन दिफ्थ पोजिशन अर्थ इज ऑन नंबर फाइव ओके देन द सन द सन इज द सेंटर ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम and it is huge and made up of extremely hot gases it provides the pulling force that this that line is important right it provides the pulling force that binds the solar system see what we says all these planets revolve around the sun ye to hum bol dete hain so what is the factor behind this the factor is the pulling force of the sun right so it provide the pulling force that binds the solar system right the sun is the ultimate source or heat and light for the solar system but that tremendous heat is not felt so much by us because despite being our nearest star it is far away from us although it is the nearest star but it is far away from us so that line is important the sun is about 150 million kilometer away from the earth and the factor behind all these planets revolve around the sun is the pulling force of the sun right then planets which we have covered now the earth the earth is the third nearest planet to the sun in size it is fifth largest planet in size it is fifth largest planet it is slightly flattened at the poles that is why its shape is described as geoid geoid means an earth like shape it is flattened on the poles okay see so, the conditions favorable to support life are probably found only on the earth and these conditions are the availability of water air and some life supporting gases in the air like oxygen from outer space the earth appears blue because its two third surface is covered by water and that's why it is known as the blue planet so earth is known as the blue pan planet okay from the perspective of distance earth is on number number 3 and in size it is on number 5th okay which planet is on number 5 through the distance from sun number 
जुपिटर शोर ओके जुपिटर काउंट कर लिए ओके बताओ एस्टेरॉइड बेल्ट फॉल्स इन बिटवीन टू मार्स एंड जुपिटर ओके गुड फार्डेस्ट प्लेनेट फ्रॉम सन नेपच्यून क्लोजेस्ट वन इज मरकरी ओके अर्थ के नेबर्स कौन कौन से हैं वीनस एंड मार्स आउटर प्लेनेट्स ठीक है नाउ द मून अवर अर्थ हैज ओनली वन सेटेलाइट सी अर्थ हैज ओनली वन सेटेलाइट बट जुपिटर एंड सेटन हैज मैनी राइट एंड वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज जुपिटर सेटन एंड नेपच्यून राइट द प्लेनेट्स ऑफ द आउटर सरफेस राइट दे हैव रिंग्स सराउंडिंग दैम अ सर्टेन रिंग्स वो भी डिस्कस करेंगे दैट इज मून इज द सेटेलाइट ऑफ अर्थ its diameter is only one quarter that of the earth it appears so big because it is nearer to our planet see this is the first chapter right in first chapter mein ye sari cheeze to hongi na because we are talking about the solar system so sun hoga planet honge star honge moon honge satellite hoga ye sab basic hai theek hai to pareshan mat hoge sixth standard ki padhai chal rahi hai theek hai don't think like that कल मैं इसी चैप्टर से कुछ क्वेश्चन लेकर आऊंगी आस्क बाय यूपीएससी सेल्फ राइट एंड देन यू विल गेट टू नो कि कैसे ये इंफॉर्मेशन यूपीएससी यूज करता है सो so, थोड़ा सा पढ़ने में अजीब लग रहा होगा लग रहा होगा ये हम सिक्स क्लास वाले बच्चे हैं क्या है ना बट द मेन थिंग इज सी द लैंग्वेज इज वेरी इजी एंड वट यूपीएससी डिमांड्स इन योर मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन You don't need to use high vocabulary uh, language, right? Just use the simple language of NCERT, right? So NCERT is important. It is about three lakh eighty four thousand four hundred kilometer away from us. Now you can compare the distance of the Earth from the Sun and from the Moon, right? Various geographical activities like the tidals, tides are there. right tidal activities they are directly affected by the sun and the moon right ye to pehla chapter hai iske baad baad se bahut sare concept bahut detail mein honge right the moon moves around the sun in about 27 days how many days 27 days the moon moves around the earth it takes exactly the same time to complete one spin right as a result only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth only one side is visible from the earth right the moon does not have conditions favorable for life but still we are searching right it has mountains plains and depressions on its surface these cast shadows on the moon surface right aur hum kya kehte hain chand mein bhi bye so they are the shadows of the mountains and now asteroids and meteoroids asteroids and meteoroids right apart from the stars planets and satellites there are numerous tiny bodies which 
also move around the sun. They also move around the sun. These bodies are called asteroids. They are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. See, what do you understand by that word, orbit? A certain path of every planet, right? Each and every planet is following its own path for revolving around the sun. So that particular, that certain path is known as its orbit, right? So these, these bodies are called asteroids and they are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Scientists are of the view that asteroids are part of the part of a planet. They were, they, they might be part of a planet which exploded many years back. So due to the explosion and after explosion, the pulling force of the sun bind the asteroids, these particles. And now they are revolving. Huh? Jupiter? Jupiter? Huh, that is also a reason. Right? And Jupiter or Saturn ke aas pas jo rings banti hai. Right? Unke piche jo reason hai. That is basically for uh, their gravitational force. Now meteoroids. Meteoroids, small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called meteoroids. Okay. Earth pe jo aate hain, chik hai, kai bar dikhte hain na? Huh? Meteors na? See, meteorites, when these meteorites enter into the atmosphere of earth, they are known as meteors. Right? And when they reached what happens, see, this is earth, right? And if a meteoroid is coming towards the atmosphere of the earth, when that enters in the atmosphere of the earth, it starts burning, right? Because of the friction, because of the climatic condition, the atmospheric condition, friction, it burns out and then in majority cases ye surface tak nahi pahunchta. It doesn't reach on the surface of the earth. But rarely in some cases deep meteors reached on the earth of the surface, uh, on the surface of the earth and then they are known as meteoroid. Meteoroid. Okay. India may be a meteorite at Huh? Kaha? Madhya Pradesh? Nay. Maharashtra. In Maharashtra. Now think, they are pieces of rocks. They are pieces of rocks. That means hard head surface in Kabi. Now, if you speed on the earth and the surface of the earth, so what will happen? It will create a crater. As it will be shaped, it will shape a crater. Right? And that's why in India, Lunar Lake is known as the Crater Lake. Made by that meteoroid. You can mention that example in your notes. Lunar Lake of Maharashtra. Right. And when you will search about Lunar Lake of Maharashtra or the Crater Lake in other areas of the world, right? There are some theories, like in the nearby regions, there are some disturbances some type of disturbances feels in the nearby regions. Right? Matlab, maha pe aapka uh, compass kaam nahi karta. Direction mein confusion create hota hai. Aeroplanes vagera ke liye problem create hoti hai. 
ठीक है सो वट कैन बी द रीजन बताओ वट कैन बी द रीजन and the water of lunar lake also changes changes its color the color bhi change hota hai uske color to chalo theek hai ye batao ki uh, jo disturbance create hota hai the disturbance related with the directions right aur uh, aisa bhi matlab uh, kaha jata hai ki ek alag vibration feel hoti hai us area mein so, kya ha huh? magnetic field of this meteorite okay and can we see ki is meteor ye jo meteorite hai jis bhi metal ye jis bhi natural resource ka bana hoga uski properties ka ye kahin na kahin effect hoga us region mein right and these meteorites are very much important to study about earth also when we study about the interior of the earth these meteorites help us to know about the interior of the earth ab in meteorites ki study jab hum karte hain to hum kya decide karte hain ki that similar part should be there in the interior of the earth the interior of earth is made of similar content of meteorites so meteorites are important sometimes these meteorites come near the earth and tend to drop upon it during this process due to friction with the air they get heated up and burn it causes a flash of light and because of that light they are known as meteor meteor without being completely burned falls on the earth and creates a hollow right aur kya ban jata hai fir baad mein suppose yahan pe ek hollow create hua right and in rainy season that hollow is filled with water and it took a shape of a lake okay so do you see british broadband like a white glowing path across the sky on a clear starry night it is a cluster of millions of stars right and this band is the milky way galaxy right milky way galaxy our solar system is a part of this galaxy think here in this sentence which we are saying the band of the stars cluster of millions of stars is the milky way galaxy and our solar system is a part of that milky way galaxy and in this whole universe there are various milky way galaxies so okay ab aap soch sakte ho there are lots of milky way galaxy right aur jis milky way galaxy mein hum hai matlab there are various galaxies and milky way galaxy jis mein hum hai there are various look, solar system aur hamare solar system mein planet eight planet so hame puri information hai kya पूरी इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं है सो वी कैन से हम ही नहीं है जो यहाँ पे रह रहे हैं हम हमसे पहले भी बहुत से लोग होंगे एलियंस भी होंगे पॉसिबिलिटीज आर देर राइट और हो सकता है वो हमसे ज्यादा एडवांस हो हो सकता है ना ओके okay. अभी के टाइम को हम क्या कहते हैं वट वी कॉल दिस टाइम पीरियड एज द मॉडर्न टाइम मॉडर्न टाइम राइट what about the indus valley civilization what about the indus valley civilization indus valley civilization belong to 2600 bc that means if we calculate the time period from now onwards add this that means we are talking about around 4600 years ago right 
years ago and during that time period the ivc people the indus valley civilization people they created a great remark of architecture they used metals right they were aware about the knowledge of various metals they mixed the copper with tin and then they created various sculptures through the bronze right so agar itne saal pehle ivc ke log itne zyada intelligent the theek hai and the contemporary civilization of ivc is the civilization of misr egyptian civilization and egyptian civilization mein ek aapne bahut acha naam suna hoga pyramids of egypt egyptian pyramids nahi suna agar nahi suna to aaj class ke baad search karna usko theek hai pyramids of egypt or misr right aur ye jo pyramids hain there are various stories about these pyramids and these stories are related with these geographical forces as well right there are various secrets of the geographical part right so search karna usko so in ancient india it was imagined to be a river of light flowing in the sky thus it was named as akash ganga a galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases see ye statement itna easy dikhti hai theek hai lekin trust me when this statement will come in your examination as statement aap kam se kam 20 seconds se zyada hi lagaoge ye sochne mein ki ye sahi hai ki nahi hai it happens when we read ncert book we feel it very easy right ye line kaisi lagti hai bahut zyada easy lagti hai but main thing is inke beech mein difference bahut kam kam hota hai har kisi ki definition ke beech mein difference bahut kam hota hai like the difference between asteroid and meteoroid जब इन दोनों की जब ये दोनों स्टेटमेंट में आएंगे सो इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू आइडेंटिफाई द एग्जैक्ट आंसर सो वी नीड टू फॉलो वी नीड टू फोकस ऑन द वर्ड्स केयरफुली अ गैलेक्सी इज अ ह्यूज सिस्टम ऑफ बिलियंस ऑफ स्टार्स एंड क्लाउड्स ऑफ डस्ट एंड गैसेस देर आर मिलियंस ऑफ सच गैलेक्सीज दैट मेक द यूनिवर्स so in the universe there are various galaxies in a galaxy there are various solar system and in our solar system there are eight planets okay and can you please uh, name all these eight planets from the farthest one to the closest one from the farthest one to the closest one saturn jupiter mars earth venus and mercury and head of the family is sun right so it is completed okay now a homework for you right don't consider yourself as the sixth class student but it is very important to write down answers in 50 words in 75 words or 100 words right you need to prepare answers and from day 1 it is very important to practice answer writing because your selection will depend on the mains right i know mains and interview both are important for your ranking but mains is more important More important. Mains में इतना कवर करो इतने मार्क्स लाओ कि इंटरव्यू में मिनिमम मार्क्स भी मिले तो भी सिलेक्शन कोई नहीं रोक पाए राइट एंड द की ऑफ गेटिंग मोर एंड मोर मार्क्स इज आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस 
सो गलती नहीं करनी एंड मेजोरिटी स्टूडेंट्स दे बिलीव लाइक वन इज वन ईयर इज सफिशियंट फॉर कंप्लीशन ऑफ सिलेबस पहले पढ़ लेते हैं राइट एंड देन इन लास्ट वन एंड टू मंथ्स वी विल प्रैक्टिस फॉर द पीटी दे स्टार्ट देयर प्रैक्टिस फॉर पीटी इन लास्ट टू मंथ्स जस्ट जस्ट थिंक अबाउट इट इफ यू विल डू द सेम राइट आगे दो से तीन साल आप क्या कर रहे हो पढ़ रहे हो सिर्फ आप इस चीज पे फोकस ही नहीं कर रहे वेर यू एग्जैक्टली स्टैंड सो वट विल हैपन इन लास्ट टू मंथ इन लास्ट थ्री मंथ आपका कॉन्फिडेंस क्या है आई हैव प्रिपेयर फॉर थ्री ईयर आई हैव प्रिपेयर फॉर टू ईयर एंड इन लास्ट टू मंथ आई विल प्रैक्टिस फॉर द पीटी और फिर प्रैक्टिस करने बैठे पीटी की और प्रीवियस ईयर का क्वेश्चन पेपर निकाल लिया देन आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड वेन स्टूडेंट स्कोर फोर्टी फाइव I'm not talking about questions. I'm talking about marks. Forty-five marks, fifty marks, sixty marks. फिर वो सोचते हैं मैं दो साल क्या किया और टाइम कितना बचा है सिर्फ दो महीने ठीक है और ये होता है मेजॉरिटी स्टूडेंट ये गलती कर दे ठीक है पिछले छह सात सालों से बहुत ऐसे स्टूडेंट देखे हैं जो लास्ट के दो महीने में फिर बोलते हैं मैम अब क्या करें स्कोर इतना आ रहा है इस साल दें कि नहीं दें एग्जाम ये ये नौबत ही क्यों आने देते हो सी व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन वी स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूपीएससी दिस इज योर फर्स्ट क्लास फॉर जोग्राफी राइट एंड यू हैव कवर्ड ओरियंटेशन राइट अ ब्रीफ आइडिया अबाउट जोग्राफी एंड देन वी हैव कम्पलीटेड वन चैप्टर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इज इंटरेस्टिंग राइट उसमें कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी कॉन्सेप्ट बहुत हैं लाइक द लॉन्गिट्यूड्स एंड लेटिट्यूड्स राइट आइडेंटिफाई इफ वी वांट टू आइडेंटिफाई एनी प्लेस इन द वर्ल्ड वी जस्ट नीड टू थिंग्स लॉन्गिट्यूड एंड इट्स लेटिट्यूड इफ वी नो दिस टू वी कैन लोकेट एनी प्लेस इन द मैप ऑफ द वर्ल्ड राइट सो नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इज मच मोर इंटरेस्टिंग सो वट आई वुड से वी हैव कवर्ड वन चैप्टर in the first class right and this is class 6 a student of class 6 takes one year to complete that book right ha huh? but we will complete the this book this class 6th book in next 3 days 3 to 4 days maximum 4 days it will be completed so jo book ek 6th class ka bachcha वन ईयर में कंप्लीट करता है वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट इन फोर टू फाइव डेज मैक्स राइट एंड नाउ थिंक अबाउट द लेवल ऑफ यूपीएससी इन दीज फोर फाइव डेज वी नीड टू लर्न अबाउट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एंड वी नीड टू यूज दैट इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर अवर एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द मेजर मोटिव वरना क्यों पढ़े हम सिक्स क्लास की एनसीआर टी है ना बट वी नीड टू डू दिस बिकॉज एग्जाम में पूछ जाएगा डे बाई डे इन नेक्स्ट फोर क्लासेस और थ्री और फोर क्लासेस व्हेन वी विल कंप्लीट द क्लास सिक्स दैट मींस आपके नोट्स कितने हो जाएंगे थोड़े ज्यादा देन क्लास सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व जब तक ट्वेल्थ क्लास की एनसीआर टी कंप्लीट हो गई तब तक आपके नोट्स थोड़े ज्यादा हो जाएंगे एंड दिस इज जस्ट एनसीआर टी कोर्स एंड दिस इज जस्ट जोग्राफी देन यू विल प्रिपेयर हिस्ट्री इकोनॉमी पॉलिटी और आपके नोट्स कैसे होते चले जाएंगे इंक्रीज होते चले जाएंगे और जब इंक्रीज होते चले जाएंगे तो क्या होगा वन बाय वन बाकी सब्जेक्ट का बर्डन भी क्रिएट होने लगेगा राइट सो अगर एक सब्जेक्ट कंप्लीट होने के बाद दूसरा स्टार्ट हो गया सो ट्रस्ट में आप प्रैक्टिस नहीं कर पाओगे नहीं कर पाओगे एंड द रीजन इज व्हेन एन एस्पिरेंट कंप्लीट वन सब्जेक्ट एंड स्टार्ट द अनदर वन 
his or her major focus remain on the running subject not on the previous subject right or us condition mein chutte chale jayenge subjects piche chutte chale jayenge pt and mains both right so my sole purpose is जब क्लास खत्म हो जब जोग्राफी एनसीआर टी कंप्लीट हो ऑन दैट डे यू फील योर सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंट एंड कैपेबल ऑफ राइटिंग आंसर्स नॉट द मॉडल आंसर मॉडल क्वेश्चंस, आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वर आस्क्ड बाय द यूपीएससी इट सेल्फ एंड ट्रस्ट मी यू विल बी दैट मच कैपेबल because i believe in myself right so mere class mein ye expect mat karna ki hum sirf sab ye one by one we will just cover the topics and chapters right aaj pehli class thi chapter start karne se pehle homework mila tha mila tha na and that homework should be done कल इससे क्वेश्चन पूछा जाएगा ठीक है और आंसर राइटिंग की प्रैक्टिस आपको करनी है एंड लेट मी क्लियर यू वन मोर थिंग किसी भी दिन किसी भी क्लास में सरप्राइज टेस्ट हो सकता है फॉर पीटीएन मेंस मेजॉरिटी क्वेश्चन विल बी फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस इयर्स ऑफ यूपीएससी पीटीएन मेंस क्योंकि अगर आप पढ़ने के बाद भी क्लास अटेंड करने के बाद भी अगर आप वो क्वेश्चन सॉल्व नहीं कर पाए तो फिर क्लास का मतलब ही है वरना सिक्स क्लास के एनसीआर खुद ही पढ़ लेते राइट है ना बट द मेन थिंग इज आंसर राइटिंग इज एन आर्ट राइट एंड पीटी के आंसर लगाना भी आर्ट है यूपीएससी जनरली ये नहीं पूछते एक स्टेटमेंट दे दी और पूछ लिया बताओ इन नीचे बड़े सिंपल सिंपल चार ऑप्शन दे दिए विच इज द करेक्ट वन नहीं यूपीएससी क्या करता है यूपीएससी एक स्टेटमेंट दिया क्वेश्चन राइट एक क्वेश्चन देने के बाद क्या करेगा देर विल बी फोर स्टेटमेंट देर विल बी फोर स्टेटमेंट ना then you will need to read all these statements fir yahan pe aayega ek statement choose the correct option by using the statements right and codes given below and codes given below that means you will be provided codes and in these codes one and two only one two and four two and three aur yahan pe likh de none of the above and trust me agar ek statement all of the above aa gayi ya none of the above aa gayi to aapka ek minute sochne mein jayega ki yahi to nahi hai answer None of the above तो नहीं है All of the above तो नहीं है Right? So what will you do? ये पढ़ लिया क्वेश्चन पढ़ लिया Then four statements, right? उसके बाद आप क्या करोगे First code आपने देखा वन and टू फिर आप वापस जाओगे Statement वन पढ़ोगे Then statement टू Then you will think, ए तो नहीं हो सकता Then You will focus on code B. फिर देखोगे वन टू एंड फोर है अब दो ये पहले पढ़ चुके थे आप लेकिन फिर भी क्या करोगे फिर पढ़ोगे स्टेटमेंट वन स्टेटमेंट टू स्टेटमेंट नंबर फोर और इससे क्या होगा टाइम वेस्ट होगा एनर्जी वेस्ट होगी प्रेशर क्रिएट होगा डाउट क्रिएट होगा एक स्टेटमेंट को चार बार पढ़ोगे और अगर फोर्थ टाइम में अगर डाउट क्रिएट हो गया तो वो ऑप्शन आप टिक नहीं करोगे 
so the better is go one by one first statement if you are hundred percent sure about the statement one कि ये करेक्ट है या इनकरेक्ट है सो अगर ये इनकरेक्ट है सपोज स्टेटमेंट वन इज इनकरेक्ट वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्रॉस लगा दो राइट बिकॉज यू आर हंड्रेड परसेंट ओवर दिस स्टेटमेंट वन दैट दिस स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग राइट अब अगर आपके पास टाइम कम है या थोड़ा सा आप स्मार्टली अगर काम करो सो जस्ट गो देर ठीक है कोड्स में देखो जहां जहां स्टेटमेंट वन है ऑप्शन में उसको काट दो ठीक है दिस इज नॉन एज द एलिमिनेशन मेथड राइट अब बचे क्या टू एंड थ्री एंड नन ऑफ दी अब अब दो ऑप्शन है आपके पास अब फोर्थ स्टेटमेंट तो पढ़ना नहीं है ना फोर्थ स्टेटमेंट पढ़ना ही नहीं है क्योंकि वो तो है ही नहीं दोनों में मेंशन नहीं है है ना अब इन दोनों में से आपको पढ़ना है इन दोनों में से सपोज एक के लिए आप श्योर हो एक के लिए श्योर नहीं हो तो क्या करोगे इफ यू आर श्योर अबाउट दैट स्टेटमेंट नंबर टू दिस इज करेक्ट एंड स्टेट नंबर थ्री You are not sure about that, right? इसको छोड़ देते इसके बारे में कोई आइडिया नहीं है स्टेट नंबर फोर आपने पढ़ा ही नहीं क्योंकि वो रिलेवेंस ही नहीं है यहाँ पे एंड यू आर श्योर अबाउट स्टेट नंबर स्टेटमेंट नंबर टू दैट दिस इज हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट राइट अगर ये हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट है तो फोर्थ ये डी आंसर इसका नहीं होगा बिकॉज डी से इज नन ऑफ दी अब इज करेक्ट और जैसे ही ये कट हुआ आंसर क्या बचा आपका सी आपको दोनों के बारे में पता होना जरूरी ही नहीं है ना यहाँ पे आपका आंसर निकलना इज इम्पोर्टेंट लेकिन बच्चे क्या करते हैं नहीं आंसर लगाने से पहले थर्ड को भी पढ़ेंगे और बैठ के दिमाग लगाते नहीं क्या आएगा क्या आएगा दैट हैपन्स बिकॉज ऑफ द एटमोस्फेयर एग्जाम प्रेशर क्योंकि वहां पे एक एक क्वेश्चन इज लाइक अ जवेल राइट सो answer writing is art paper solving is an art so start from day 1 so you need to write down answer so on these questions right in 50 words theek hai at least teen answer to likh ke lana 50 words each theek hai sab likh liye to achhi baat hai theek hai and homework is kaun kaun se the नेशनल वाटर वेस ओके एक दो और लिख लें हैप्पीनेस इंडेक्स लिखो हाँ नहीं नहीं हैप्पीनेस इंडेक्स और लिखो ठीक है ये दो होमवर्क है और ये आंसर लिख के लाने अच्छा थैंक यू